Do you like alcohol? Um, I might have tried your beer once. What? Hello everybody, it's Barry here. Hope you are well wherever you are in the world. Welcome to our kitchen. Uh, today we're doing another 4, 3, 2, 1 video. Uh, the four, three ingredient recipes to try one time in your life. And I remember when we say ingredients, three ingredients, it could just be more a generic thing that you grab off the shelf. So three items really, um, that can hopefully give you a nice sort of emergency dinner. We're doing a starter, main, dessert and drink. And look, look at the eyes. It's Christmas, I'm doing a festive kind of inspired uh, Christmas edition of 4321, but of course there is a whole playlist if you missed any others want loads of ideas So check that out at the end of this video. Let's get started All right, we're gonna start with our main first of all and I've just preheated my oven. This is a turkey thigh Ooh. Look at the size of it. It's humongous. This is one with a bone in it's just enormous So when you cook uh, meat with a bone in there's actually more flavor that comes out as it cooks and apparently I'm not 100% certain on that it does make it slightly more moist So get in the oven preheated because this is gonna take 90 minutes to cook So you guys are giving me some slack saying things like oil and water and even seasoning I can use So I'm not gonna sort of go down the route of salt and pepper too much, but I am gonna add a little bit of oil onto this <laughs> The first 45, I'm gonna cover it. Tis the season to bake a turkey thigh for the first time with a bone in. -la 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 -la. All being well, by the end of this video, that will be a one tray roast turkey dinner. Uh, there's loads of things that I wanted to add in with that. In fact, I'll tell you everything I bought just to explain it because then, of course, you don't have to follow the three rules. Uh, you can add more ingredients if you want and really push it. And that's basically the whole concept of this playlist. But ultimately, that's in the oven now. It's the longest thing to cook. And by the time that's done, we should be able to do the other three recipes. Let's jump straight to dessert. Santa's little helper. No. Hello. All right, Chloe? Yes. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. I go, I'm going to show you guys, and with the power of Chloe's assistance, how to make the world's easiest chocolate log dessert. We're gonna make an emergency Yule log, which I, I love this idea so much. I was gonna do it as a dedicated video, which would have taken like a minute. This <laughs> is some chocolate orange flavored oh. icing, buttercream, ready in a pack. You can get so many different flavors of these from the supermarket, all right? I'm gonna eat it. This is icing sugar, but you might not really need that. It's just, you know, it's the snow, isn't it? Will there be leftovers? I, I, I'm, I'm hoping for it. We're gonna eat all of it. Yeah. This is the base of the Yule Log. So this is a chocolate Swiss roll. You can get these in the supermarket. They've already done all the hard work for you. I want you to do, Chloe, is take a diagonal cut about a fifth of the way down, okay? Diagonal, that, that's, that's it. All the way through. Oh, want me to cut? Yeah, straight down, thing. yep. <laughs> now what you can do, if you take this piece and with that diagonal bit, you put it there, does that look a little bit more like a log now? Sorry, but that is really nice. That's just really nice, the bit that I had. Can I open this now? Yeah. The suspense is killing me. Smell it. Chocolate orange buttercream. Have a little smell, mate. Good. Stink. There we go. Nice. Okay. And then that means we can just stick it and it's going to bite it a little bit more, all right? So it's joint. She just wants to eat it. Brilliant. <laughs> With these mixes, you've got to give them a little bit of a stir at first to so kind of make them a little bit more maneuverable because they are quite stiff like that, okay? So get a bit on like that. So all of a sudden, we are turning a basic chocolate Swiss roll into, ah, oh, it smells amazing. So yeah, I warmed that pot in the microwave for like 20 seconds just to see if it will help it. Ooh, 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 no. That's all right. I mean, it's messy fun, right? And we won't put the icing sugar on it yet because that will just basically dissolve into it. We'll do that right at the end, okay? Can you you do you have one of those things where you sprinkle it where you go like that? <gasps> There's a gadget that? for that, mate. Can we use that? 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 Yeah. Very excited. All right, so we'll just put this down to one side uh, and come back to that later. Hello, Chloe. Hello. Have I got you as a little helper now? Yes. So Chloe, under my careful guidance, <laughs> is chopping up some Brussels sprouts, right? So she's taking the nasty bottoms off and the outer leaves into that bowl, which I'm gonna wash, okay? Because what we're gonna make is some sticky Brussels sprout bacon lollipops. 
Lollipop? I know, it's the word lollipop. I just stick the word lollipops in there. It just makes it more fun, doesn't it? <laughs> so we've got our Brussels sprouts. We're going to wrap them in bacon and warm up some cranberry sauce, which we're going to baste them in as we bake. But these sprouts will need to be cooked first of all, all right? So basically, you just keep chopping the sprouts up, mate. Some people actually don't really like Brussels sprouts. I know, mate. <laughs> We found out the other day, guys, didn't we, that we could cook sprouts in the microwave, so that's what we're going to do, right, Clay? Yeah, you can put cling film in the microwave. Really? Yeah, it's just going to do that crazy big bubble thing. Oh Look my at gosh. that. I know, it amazed me. I did that the other day. It shrink wraps them. Well, I'll get the turkey out in just a moment. We're going to bung this in the microwave because, as you can see, it's quite thick and chunky and jelly like. We're going to do 30 second blast, stirring in between because you kind of want it to be spreadable. How quick? I never that you could actually do it in the microwave. Never knew that. Yeah. I always thought you had to do it in the oven or above the stove. The stove? <laughs> what year were you born in? 2012, actually. Oh, you got me there. That makes me feel real. 2012? Yeah. Oh my God, that makes me feel so Almost old. Oh my gosh. 10. I know, mate, I know. But like, to me, 1980 is still 10 years ago. Is that scary for people watching the channel? You guys have been here like when Chloe was born. Let's take this off. Oh got a teeny bit of color but the foil is now coming off so to serve alongside it in the freezer aisle especially at winter time you get a whole medley of vegetables sometimes you get stir-fried ones with rice I very nearly picked that up because you're getting rice with the turkey or the veg but it wasn't really Christmassy but this is a pack of frozen vegetables and there's potatoes already in there and it's seasoned in honey and rosemary for me like one item all the juices from the turkey should run down into these frozen vegetables that take half an hour to cook but we'll submerge them in some water too to stick in with a gravy stock pot so that will warm up with the water with the vegetables with the turkey juices all in there as a one tray multiple veg turkey medley of pan goodness Ow. oh right oh my. <laughs> pour the vegetables in there all right ah. we then stick the turkey back down on top okay some around here all around there yes look at that that's actually the frozen rosemary butter that they've given us i'm gonna stick that on the top oh my gosh yes it just looks yummy that's all i can say so this is like kind of like a posh stock cube it's kind of more jellified so we're gonna take half it out and stick one side half it stick the other and that goes in the oven now for 45 oh. minutes oh my mouth is watering <laughs> see those butter lumps on the top they're gonna melt down onto the turkey oh my gosh Sticky Brussels sprout bacon lollipops. Okay, this is a uh, smoked bacon and it's too big like that. We're gonna cut it in half, one rasher. We'll take a Brussels sprout and we'll roll it up. It's basically like pigs in blankets, but it is. But a Brussels sprout in. Push through the Brussels sprout onto a cocktail stick, all right, like that. And you can get two on each one. So there we go. Does that look all right? Yeah, that looks really yummy. Cranberry sauce all over. Even on the bacon and... On the bacon, mate, yeah. Because that the sugar in is going to get all sticky and caramelised and be like a nice sweet jam. Happy with that? Yeah. Oh, yeah. So you hold it stick side up like that mm. in a bacon dish like that, OK? I just can't wait to try them. Well, you're in the right place. I think it will be amazing, but like all my videos, mate, this is a bit of an experiment. So if it does work, hopefully lots of people will try it and we will do it Christmas Day, yeah? OK. Oh, if you do a sausage with it as well, it'll be sticky sprout pigs and blankets. What about that for Christmas Day? No, this. These will go in the oven for the last sort of 15, 20 minutes. And if you want, you can keep basting it with more cranberry sauce as it bakes. Uh, but I think you've done such a good job covering that. Yeah. That I think it's going to be all right. Yeah, me too. Do you like alcohol? Um, I might have tried your beer once. What? ages ago and a few nights ago Where? I tried Nanny's mummy's um wine a little bit it's disgusting I was gonna do a mulled wine but seeing as Chloe has been such a good sport here we're gonna make a non-alcoholic which I don't know if I need to do now do you want an alcoholic one Nothing. We're going to make a non-alcoholic mulled wine. So Tell me when to stop. Well, you can stop whenever you want, mate. You just want double the amount of pom pomegranate juice. So you've got a litre there. And I might have planned this. That, that does go up to one litre, that jug. Just in case you get a bit excited and end up pouring all of it in. Oh, 
like that. So 500 mils of the apple juice. Yes, and that jug goes up to 500 mils, so don't spill it basically yes. and you'll, you'll be fine. So it should visually uh, look like mulled wine, I'm not saying it's going to taste like it, but we can make it festive and I was a bit uncertain how to do this with our third and final ingredient and I, I might still shove a garnish in there, okay? What's the matter with you now? It looks like we. Yes, it does look like we. Why is that funny? I don't know. I was going to add in some cinnamon sticks. I thought, oh, that'd be really cool, like logs of cinnamon scent, stench, going in. But then you'd have to fish the log out and you might get bits of it and pass it for a sieve, that's fine. So what I would suggest is do the cinnamon stick and also uh, some mixed spice. So we're gonna add some of this, which has actually got uh, cinnamon, coriander seeds, nice. Nutmeg, cloves, ginger, and dill seeds in there. So a real Christmas in a jar. So we're gonna get two teaspoons. Yeah, heap teaspoons, why not? Of the spice. And we're just gonna warm it through, stirring through to dissolve that spice. And that will be non-alcoholic mulled wine. That really does look like mulled wine. Well done, Chloe. Nice, keep going, mate. Keep going, cover it all over. Let it snow, let it snow, let it snow. Oh my gosh. Oh my. <gasps> oh my. Look at this. Ah, oh, there's little bits of cranberry stuck on the bacon. Can you see? Sticky, Can't sugary, smoky. Oh. oh, look at the colour and the crispiness on the skin of the turkey as well. Our gravy all in the middle, the stock, the vegetable medley. Wow. Wow. Chloe, look at this spread of food that we've done in 90 minutes together as a team. Teamwork makes the dream work. It does. Hello, mate. Do you want to come for a cuppa? <laughs> Yeah, all right, mate. We'll have a cup of cheese, mate. Actually, not really a cup. A bit of non-alcoholic wine, isn't it? <coughs> Chloe wanted to do the mulled wine first. Um, okay. Oh my gosh! Oh, my mouth oh, is tingling. Wow. Oh, my mouth is tingling. It's so sweet. That is gorgeous. Mm. I was in London quite recently. I had some mulled wine, and I was like, it was really expensive. That tastes almost identical to it. Can I just say? I feel Christmassy. Out of all of it, this is, I'm really excited about this. Mm. Got some uh, fresh cranberry sauce that I've just taken out of the fridge that I put in a pot as well, so you can have that as a dunking uh, device if you wish. Take a stick. I'm gonna have this one. All right, it's still gonna be quite warm, all right? That is superb. Do you know superb? I'm ignoring you because I'm just eating it. <laughs> the sprouts are so tender and soft. So not only have we cooked them in the microwave, they've softened even more, and maybe the fat from the bacon as it cooked too has made it just kind of like weep with flavour. The smokiness of the bacon, the sweetness of the cranberry, and they're so soft. I feel like a little fresh lick of cranberry might... Oh! Mate, try another one. Oh my gosh. That's amazing. It is, isn't it? That's so good! Remember they are sprouts they mate. We are going to be trumping a lot if we keep eating them all. I don't care. <laughs> oh, look, <laughs> breaking through that crispy yeah, skin. <gasps> to cover my eyes in case I literally snatch it off of you. Oh, that is amazing. Mm. The flavour in there. I mean, we kind of explained it as we were building it together. The gravy has just absorbed so much flavour. The turkey is soft and tender. There's a little bit of crispy skin if you want to have that too. Vegetable medley. Stonking? Amazing. amazing. Amazingly stonking. Do you know how expensive these logs are in the shop compared to like a Swiss roll as well? It's crazy! Can I try so some? So good, look at that! Can I try some now? Of course you can! Mm. Mate! We've done it! We've done it! Huh? How good is that? <laughs> <laughs> Alright. Mate, it is the simplicity of it, but the orange in that buttercream. Out of this world! That's something I've wanted to show for a long time, actually. Done very well. Very proud of you. One day, I'm going to look back and watch these videos when I'm in my nursing home. And say, so, that's my daughter. And she, like, was sprouts and bacon. Okay. 
Thank you, Chloe, and thank you uh, for watching. Hope you enjoyed the video. We're doing a fair few Christmas recipes this year. Don't forget there's a Christmas playlist, and of course the 4321 playlist with loads of free ingredient inspiration for you to try. This took us an hour and a half to make four recipes, which were all stonking. What was your favorite? Uh, well, I'm gonna order it. First, bacon and Brussels sprouts. I agree. Second, um, the log. Yeah. Third, the turkey. Yes. And fourth, the drink. Oh my gosh, it's like we're related. Mine is exactly the same, but... We are related. They're all good in their own way, so put your own spin on it. Add tons of ingredients or items to it. Really go to town, and if you try any recipes, don't forget to send them to me on social media. Your favourite platform of choice. I'm not specific. It doesn't have to be Facebook. You could email. Or Twinstagram. Email. Email. MySpace. Pen, do you, pen pal? Do you know what you could do? I, I recommend when you're making Christmassy things, listen to Christmas music. Yeah, we couldn't do that for copyright, really. And also, don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already, so you can be notified of all new video uploads. Nice one. All right then, Christmas. Anything to say? Bye! Got all the notes, baby, like a treble clef. Cooking up this song like the naked chef. I know what you're thinking, British guy drinking tea, but I'm gangster British, baby. I prefer chickpeas. Just before we do that, isn't like a cabbage a massive Brussels sprout? Oh uh, yeah! So you could wrap a cabbage in loads of bacon, shove it on a huge skewer, cover it in cranberry sauce and have a massive one of that thing that you're loving. Right, I like your thinking, but there's no need to get too excited, okay? Okay, sorry. It might not happen. <laughs>